Lie is a modern American immigrant story. It offers real insight into Sudan and the triumph of the human spirit through those who managed to survive. Like many Sudanese refugees during the Second Civil War, about 20,000 boys were orphaned and told to walk over a thousand miles to safety. I was immediately pulled in by their struggle and how that they fought for their lives. The script of The Good Lie is definitely inspired by true events. They are all Christian. So they have this religious background that's very deep and profound. Some of the lost boys made it through this obstacle course under the most brutal of conditions possible and made it here in America. We are going oh. to Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Davis works at an employment agency. Yes, hello, this is Carrie. Pick up who? I'm not the welcome wagon. She's very much a loner, eats by herself, lives alone. She definitely would rather not engage. You must be the guys from Somalia, Senegal. Sudan. Did your luggage come down the chute? Great. Where is your husband? No, I'm not married. I provide for myself. Your survival skills are very impressive. Thanks. Many church groups took in these refugees and really made it their mission to help them get resettled. Now, a lot of these refugees came from Sudan and they'd only been in one car their entire life and didn't know what a light switch was. It must be an alarm. May I ask to drive a car? Stop, Move. put the brakes, brakes, brakes! I think you should just stick to walking. But it was this incredible opportunity to come to America and start a new life, but it was also a culture clash. That's where you throw the old food so you can restock the shelves with the new food. Old food? That makes no sense to, to Jeremiah because he came from a world where he's struggling about what to eat. Hey. I'm sorry. What I have in here is much pressure. What the hell are you doing? Jeremiah let go of the job and go find a different job in the church where you have to help other people. Carrie thinks of working with these guys like it's another job, and she'll place them in jobs and that'll be it. And yet, they continue to show up on her doorstep, and they really change her life. I had 34 brothers and sisters, and they all died but one. She need to be here with us. I don't think they're going to make it if they're not together. In America, we are nothing. That is not true. I wonder if your church group would help me hosting a refugee. Carrie's experience of getting to know these three boys really opens her up in a way that she hasn't before and learns that connecting with people is ultimately much more satisfying. You no, know, you have to give her credit. She takes us on. And somehow, we actually managed to touch her heart and get through to her. She thinks she can solve all of their problems. And in a lot of ways, she does. And in other ways, they wind up influencing her, inspiring her. You make our hearts throb for your many kindnesses today. May you find a husband to fill your empty house. I'll work on that. It's a beautiful story about learning to value in other cultures what you don't have in your own. Faith allowed the Lost Boys to survive. They call us the Lost Boys of Sudan. I don't think we are lost. I think we are found. Faith Yardi. Yardi? It means great white cow. Well, it's better than a lot of things I've been called.